Hello there everybody, this is Montgomery Collections, and today I have six 24 karat gold Pokemon trading cards in the Pokeballs. Now these were given out with um, Burger King Kids Meals, I think in the year 1999. We'll check in a second. Uh oh, one of them's coming out. Slowly but surely. Let's uh, assist it there because that's what I was getting to next. And it's a Jigglypuff. Now each one of these, there goes my flash, each one of these has a 24 karat gold card in them. And you open them up by pressing the button on the ball. Whoa. And that one, as you could tell, was broken because when I was a kid, I used to throw these and watch them pop open, you know, and pretend that they were actual Pokeballs. So, there you have it again, another example of when you were a kid and you messed up something that could potentially be a collector's item in the future. <laughs> However, I do have all of the original cards, uh, the gold ones, along with the little papers that come in them, still wrapped in the plastic. The only thing that's wrong with them is this one's a little busted, and this one back here is missing is missing one of its uh, stands. But let's take a look at each one of these. First one we got here is a Charizard. You can see that there's these uh, little plastic stands in here. You kind of put them in there, and they stick in there. So I lost one apparently. Charizard officially licensed by Nintendo. And here's the message, I suppose, on probably the back of every one of them. It says, this Pokemon Special Edition 23 carat. Oh, not 24, 23 carat. Sorry about that. 23 carat plated trading cards have been produced to the highest standards uh, for Nintendo of America. It's made the highest quality alloy to ensure lasting value, long life, and beauty, we suggest that it remain in the clear cover which it was delivered. Fingerprints and exposure to weather will cause the superb finish to tarnish. Now, I do like the fact that they give that little instruction to the kids. Did I take time to read that? No. Um, unfortunately, I think I did pop them out of the cases every now and again just to admire them. Here's a Mewtwo. That one can't really stand up, I guess. And you can see on the back of the cards, you get a little, uh, kind of looks like a trading card. Has some print on there. It's kind of really hard to read. Super small English print, I believe. We've got a Tokopi. We've got that Jigglypuff that you saw earlier. So you can see that there's sort of two different images. They're similar, but they're not the same. And there's the Pikachu. Yeah, they don't stand up too well once you take the card out of them, I guess. They are three-pronged at the bottom. Well, let's just leave that out for now. The last one that we have is the Poliwhirl, and as I said before, it's missing one of the... missing one of the stands. So unfortunately, that is the only thing wrong with the collection. Well, I'll fix those later. So this is the 23 karat plated trading cards that they gave out at Burger King in 1999. Thanks for watching, everyone.